I know we said we weren't going to talk about Harry Styles anymore, but is, I did Harry send, Styles coming back? I sent him a message when I was hammered. The Mercedes-Benz Interview Lounge. It was such a serious moment with a heartbreak song, and you're like, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> I bounced. Sometimes you're holding in so much pain that it can only come through by way of belch. <laughs> or beyond. Yeah, or beyond. I was, I was expelling the demons from within <laughs> via my... Gas. Yes, of course. Hey, let me explain what's going on here. Uh, a lot of people are out. Um, Danielle is... She, that's Danielle. Hello. She's in, her, in her dungeon. Oh, yeah. yeah. I see. And then Gandhi is over here. She's in, Hello. at a wedding oh, in Columbus. Oh, you're at a wedding. And then Froggy is down in Florida waiting for a hurricane. Oh, hello. Then, and then, uh, you know, but I'm here. Oh, well, that's you, fine. You get me. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, guys, what did, you, what did you think of his first song, Forget Me? Wasn't it amazing? It was amazing, yeah. but I'm not going to tell him that because then he's just going to make a joke. No, I won't. <laughs> okay, I, won't right. I won't. Honestly, I'll accept all the compliments. Oh, it, was it was wonderful. Thank it you was. very much. Yeah, no, I'm awesome. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, pretty good at what I do. Yeah, that's why they pay me. The medium bucks. The medium bucks. <laughs> I'm not re- not quite at the big bucks yet. You'll be there. Harry Styles is. Yeah, no. That man is. I googled his net worth last night. But that Harry, man is rich. Harry Styles. He, he's, <laughs> work, he's working his ass off. Good God! How many nights did he do at Madison Square Garden? Fifteen. Fifteen, 15 nights. nights. I'll tell you something. Little. Here's here's a here's a a hot take. That's too many nights. It's way too many <laughs> nights. It's too many nights, and I'll tell you why. You would never sign on for 15 nights. I would nights. not sign on for 15 nights. Do you remember? I would no, and no way in hell would I do 15 nights at anything. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't do fifty nights of love making out this. Wow. wow! Now why not? Now, now, if they offered it, would you rethink it? Well, I mean, obviously, if I saw the check he was getting, I probably would have done it. <laughs> <laughs> but right. just in terms of like that, sound, that sounds exhausting. And then he went to Venice and spat on Chris Pine, and then he went to, <laughs> to he went to all these other places and did all these other things. It's like you're working too hard, Harry. Now, in fact, if, if he's listening. Can you just? Relax about Harry Styles. <laughs> Everyone, try, I'm doing my best here to break into this as a new male singer songwriter. All right, and he's taken up all this space. I will move on. Then. <laughs> you know, we, let's just ban ban all future Harry Styles conversations. Right, I you said that I did not. Okay, <laughs> that's what the Harrys to know. Oh, I'm one of you. That will catch up. That will catch up to me. Okay, back to releasing a song like "Forget Me." That yes. is, I mean, your heart was obviously ripped out and. It, and it, chewed up. And chewed up. Yeah. And then thrown into a she was microwave a, oven. And she was on a to- hungry harlot. So she was. No, uh, can you see harlot on the radio? Yes, you yes, can. Yes, oh, yeah. yes, yes. I said uh, we should bring harlot back more. Yeah, I don't want yeah. a harlot shame, everybody. But, um, <laughs> no, no, she's a lovely woman. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that. Um, yes, so basically I broke up with this lady. A year went by. And then I realised, oh, you're a lot happier than I am now. And I hated that, Elvis, <laughs> if I can be honest with you. Okay, I get that. Guys, if I can just be honest, I was I was, I was, was furious at this. I was like, why haven't you even got a little bit fat? What's going on here? Right. I put on so much weight and you're still, you look amazing. So why um, is that? Why do you think she went one way, you went the other as far um, as that I think it just says a lot about who we are as people. Mm-hmm. I am lazy. <laughs> um, I spent my lockdown just, you know... I, w- she was maybe spent her lockdown working on herself, right. and I spent my lockdown working on myself, but in a very different way. Yes, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So, did you, like me, did you gain weight during lockdown? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I did what, too. Look, but, at look at this. Right mate, here. honestly. And do you right. know what, man? You look yeah. great. Yeah, thanks. I feel good. <laughs> I feel good. good. I'm breaking. Oh, the love, the love. You look great. It is. Everyone, everyone handled it different ways. Yeah. You know, I, I, well, we went that way. The, everyone else went the other way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I just spent a lot of nights alone in my bed, mm-hmm. getting weird, drinking, getting weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, okay, okay. What your your drunk text rate? Did it go up during lockdown? Yeah. Were, were you drunk texting everyone? No. This isn't. This is. I know we said we weren't going to talk about Harry Styles anymore, but uh, I is, did. Is Harry send, Styles coming back? I sent him a message. When I was hammered, mm-hmm. and I it was a, it was an Instagram video. It was like four a.m. I don't know what it was to this day. He screenshotted it. Well, no, didn't you? Couldn't you go back and look? No, because in, in Instagram the videos disappear. Oh, okay. but I don't. I just want to make this clear. I don't know Harry Styles. We're not like I don't. We're not like friends. When I was like, well, I'm hammered. I just sent this guy a message that I don't know, and then he screenshotted it and said, "This feels like a you up text." Yeah, are you up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I was like. Please forgive me, Harry Styles. 
<laughs> I cannot believe I've done this, and I haven't heard from him since. I know. You know what? <laughs> oh, no. Because of your drunk, are you up text to Harry yeah. Styles? You two will be working together before you know it. Yeah. Well, that'd be great because I could really use the money. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Now, can I ask a question? Absolutely, there, Danielle. There was, there's a rumor out there that you were on all these dating sites like Tinder and all these yeah. sites, but because they thought it wasn't a real profile, you got kicked off? Yeah, Tinder kicked me off. And I did a brand deal with Tinder, by the way, and they still <laughs> kicked me off. Can you believe that? <laughs> really? What? So they, they thought you were just joking. You were someone else joking think, around. Yeah, they thought I was like, obviously because I'm such a handsome young individual. Um, and you are. They thought I was catfishing, um, but I wasn't. I was just me looking for love. And That's I, not fair. I still search. I'm still on the search, Elvis, um, if, if I can say that. Uh, American ladies, I'm still looking. Um, so please, please, um, call us on... No, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> send in your applications. Yeah, um, call you know, call Lewis Capaldi now. 1-800-242-0100. Yeah. You know, the good thing about what you do is you travel f- uh, over many continents. You have, yeah. you, have all, you have more fish in the sea than most other people. Yeah. Oh, so what you're saying is... It's even sadder that I'm single. I didn't say that. <laughs> you've got you've got more options than anyone else. And you're still alone and single, and you put weight on. Not what I meant. Not what I meant. Not what I meant. Well, don't don't you don't you turn this around? Well, on me. I'm Scottish. We're pessimistic, Elvis. You see, okay. Here's something I want to talk to you about because I rarely have a, a Scottish person in this chair. Yes, I am from my background is Scottish. Yeah. As you can tell, I'm burping. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> We're on. I can tell I'm from Scotland. And he's a pro. He's been in this business for years. I am. So I'm fr- I'm originally from Scotland. My family is yeah. Scottish, pure and pure. But I've never been. Oh, really? Is it something? I, do I need to go find my roots? Are you saying yeah. from Scotland? Scottish man to Scottish man, I need to get back to my roots. Glasgow, come to Glasgow. I mean, even if you're not from Glasgow, f- f- come to Glasgow. You can All stay right. at my house. Oh, I'll really? put you up. Yeah, thank you. That's awesome. That was Thanks. nice. Right. Yeah, yeah. You're well, a lord now, it's not, Elvis. It's not a nice house. It's not a nice house. No, no. Ed Sheeran so, told me to buy this house, and it's an absolute hell hole. <laughs> okay, so why would, you, why would a friend turn you onto a hell hole? Because he was trying to be helpful, and I, he's such a sweet man. And we got talking during lockdown about, you know, how I was looking to move out of my parents' house, because I still live in my parents' after, like, during the pandemic. Right. And um, I was like, yeah, I'm looking for a place. And he was like... Uh, okay, and he went on and looked at a place online and was like, this place looks great, and it did look great, and it looks amazing. And from the outside, it is beautiful, sprawling hills. There's a lake. And he then didn't realise that it would smell like cigarette smoke. Well, what, what didn't you look dog. at it before you bought it? I did go look at it. Elvis, and can I tell you something? I have made some mistakes in my life. Mm-hmm. I made some bad decisions over the last two years, and that was one of them. Okay, well, I got too uh, eager. I was too. I was an eager beaver, and I went in there and I was like, "This place is the best! Oh my god, that smell of dog and smoke will go away after a while." <laughs> oh, <laughs> did, did oh it? didn't. We have god. ripped that place out, and it still reeks of dog and smoke. <laughs> oh my god! The people who were there last before me left are dog's ashes. <laughs> so it's it's not cigarette smoke; it's dog smoke. Yeah, yeah. So I threw them in the bin, obviously. But um, oh my god! <laughs> okay, here's what we do. We, yes. we, you know, you can redo that house. You can. Oh, oh, I am. Oh. I am. I am. All right. It costs money, and, and it's a hell to live in it. This is what I'm saying. So Ed Sheeran should technically reimburse me for the cash that I'm having to have pay you, on this. Have you brought, sure. the, have you, have no, you brought I, this up to Ed? I, I saw him the other day, and he's a biz, he's a shrewd businessman. There's no way he's going to go for that. But um, I think it's only fair. But um, Ed, if you're listening, I love you, but you have put a plague on my life that I will never be able to be rid of. You swain. Oh, wait, good. Did we record that? Because I tell you why. He's going to be here in two weeks. Yeah. Oh God, I know. And, he, I know he is. He's told me he's coming as well. And we're going to give him hell. Yeah, you give him. In fact, yeah, you give him hell, Ed. He's a, he's a property tycoon. This guy. I know. And I'm only not about a place in Scotland, obviously. You know, Ed, is awful. Ed's got this major, major sprawling mansion with a, and his neighbors hate him because yeah. he put this these huge walls up around yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, not, I, not popular there. Does, wait, doesn't he no. have like his own cemetery or something on there? What like a burial? <laughs> yes, the rumor is that there's like a little burial ground or something. Well, so on does Louis Capaldi, but they're all do- <laughs> uh, they're all dead dogs. Yeah, yeah, dead dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, so I'm not going to stay on your couch, but thanks for the invite. Okay, so, so, so well, <laughs> but I'm, I, I won't lie to you, Elvis. I'm, I'm hurt by that, but let's continue. <laughs> so, so, so being a Scottish guy like you, who am I? Like, I don't know me. Like, what what does being Scottish mean? Being uh, versus being anything else. Who who are we? At you know, the core. We're bad at sports. Okay. All right. Done. 
We are kind of like the under the plucky underdog. Okay. We're very similar to Irish people. In what way? Alcohol. Yes. <laughs> songs, music. Yep. Good times. Although, do you know what it is? It's like we're like we're like Ireland, but we didn't like travel as far and wide. Do you know how everywhere everywhere's got like an Irish pub? So we're like even like second fiddle right. to them. We're not even doing. <laughs> no, no. We're yeah. not even competing there. As it's, it's being Scottish, I don't know if you've ever seen train spotting. Yeah, absolutely. Oh God. Yeah, yeah. Well, that tells you all you need to know. <laughs> yeah. That's it. I take all my drugs out of a toilet. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, well, let's move on to music now. Okay, so forget me is out now. Yeah. Okay, where where are you going musically? What what's next with with Lewis Capaldi? Um, I take no shame in saying this. It's exactly the same as the last one, and I'll tell you why. Okay. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. The last record did well. Mm-hmm. So I was like, well, let's just give him some more of that. Do you know what I mean? Right. And, and, I, and I'm like, I'm not going to tell you I went on an artistic journey. I like making the songs I was making. The last two songs I wrote for my last album were Someone You Loved and Before You Go, which are the only songs in America that people will know me by. So I was like, why not just keep on rolling down that road there? And what happened? We've done it. We've got loads of ballads, lots of songs about breaking up with ladies. Lots of songs about being undesirable. Lots of songs about hemorrhoids. Yeah. Yes. Lots of songs about... When it's about time we had a hemorrhoid anthem. I know, I'd love a good hemorrhoid anthem. Yeah, thank you. Um, and uh, yeah, just loads and loads, loads, loads of sad songs. But, but they're, they're all they're kind of faster now. Because I put, went on tour and I played to people, and so they're kind of like sad and fast. So more rhythmic sad yeah. songs. Sad and fast, much like my lovemaking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, people are texting in. What are they saying here, Scary? I'm belly laughing. I just peed myself. I'm oh. crying with laughter. Oh. If the music career doesn't work out for Louis Capaldi, he could be a comedian. Oh, wow. There you go. There you, you go. Oh, you, you, so she's crying, belly laughing, crying. He's a- Three different texts. Oh, three? Oh, right, okay. I was like, that one person's going through a lot this month. <laughs> yeah. 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 Very busy, very yeah, busy. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Good to know. Uh, well, I don't think the music career is quite done at this point. <laughs> Fingers crossed. As long as you guys keep playing it, we'll be in good stead. So I got to tell you something. You know, I know you have a big fan base. You have a lot of fans that, like the Lewis Capaldi, what do they call them? The Capalders? Or we what? call it the Big Fat Sexy Jungle Cats. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, say The what? Big fat sexy jungle cats. The big fat j- sexy jungle cats. Oh, yeah. come on. Well, that's true. That's what we got. That's, what we got. that's true. So Louis Tomlinson was here. Yeah. Last week, and his fan base is huge. They sent us these Louis Tomlinson cookies. Look, these are cookies with his face on them. Oh wow. Do you would you eat Louis Tomlinson? I will eat it. Let me. Eat, I would love to eat Louis Tomlinson. Okay. All right. <laughs> So, okay, make sure you show it to the camera. Oh, wait, this camera. Yeah, and, you know, a I'll, handy little I'll device. Show you. Gandhi, did, yes. you eat, did you want us to save you a Louis Tomlinson cookie? I would now, love it if you could save one. Thank you. Any thoughts for Louis? No, no, no. Just before I eat this, yeah. these are sent in anonymously. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, no, it's from the it's from the Louis Tomlinson fan club. What could, what could go wrong? I mean, there could be like. Hair baked into this. Oh, <laughs> right. oh, I know. Scary had one uh, had, two hours ago. I had three. Or yeah, yeah. And, and you, oh and you're coughing up fur balls. <laughs> <laughs> shall we? Shall, cheer, shall we? Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers to Louis. Louis. There you are, my man. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, softer than I was expecting. <laughs> it's very dry. I've heard that before. <laughs> softer than I was. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, lovely. I don't want him. Louis Thomas and Frank Club, I love you guys. I don't want to make any enemies out of you. No. <laughs> no, you don't. That is great. They're very powerful. Bigger than me, the new song by Louis Tomlinson. I don't know. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Gandhi, did you have something yeah. you want to say to our friend Lewis? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So our text messages are going crazy with people who are interested in you romantically. Wow. What are you looking for? Um, I like a lady. <laughs> okay. <laughs> With Paige. Oh, no, that's my girlfriend's name. Okay, we'll talk to her in a second. Yeah, yeah. What um, kind of lady? You're looking for a lady. I'm looking for a lady. S- small. Small, petite. I don't want her to be concerned about the size of certain things. <laughs> oh, I see. So, so the only reason I want her to be small, small okay. I want her to have small hands. Okay. <laughs> so in fact, just... forget everything else, just small hands. Small hands. <laughs> small hands. Yes. <laughs> what a hit. Okay, and so we make... have some directives here. It we makes can find a, a small that... woman with small hands. It makes everything look bigger. Yeah. Like, okay, so you're saying, here's, okay, here's a problem. Hello. Uh, hold on, Danielle. Hold on. I love him so much. Like <laughs> hello, <laughs> hello, Paige. Paige? <laughs> 
You, you know, you are uh, Louis. Paige is the name of Louis Capaldi's ex girlfriend. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Do you have small hands? <laughs> I do. I'm Tiny. Oh, great. Oh, great. Well, okay. you're done. We're done, Paige. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, let me just ask you one question. Are you going to break up with me and then a couple of years later go on a reality TV program in the UK and then win it so that I have to be subjected to reliving my breakup over and over again? Oh, my God. Oh, my, oh my goodness. God. Absolutely never do that to Okay, you. Paige. Well, listen, we've got your details Wait, here. Hold on. <laughs> back up, back up, Lewis. Did this happen? My ex-girlfriend from back home went on Love Island mm-hmm. and won it. Oh, God. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, <laughs> Nate's getting an iPad there. <laughs> I simply must know. Yeah, Paige, on image. She's a lovely girl, by the way. I, right. I'm, I'm only joking about um, all that stuff. I mean, that did happen. That's, that's exactly what happened. But um, but she, yeah, she went on and won it. And now she's just, yeah, she's like famous in the UK. There you so go. So very, it's very good to be here, just to get away from it all. Do you but, know what I mean? But now you're talking to another Paige. <laughs> yeah, Paige, are you go- as long as you don't break my heart. No, I could redeem the name. Yeah, yeah. Well, that sounds lovely to me, Paige. You've she's got gonna redeem the name. That, she's, you sound brilliant. I love you, Paige. We'll go to the Cheesecake <laughs> Factory. Hell um, I love it. Or another American chain that I don't know any other names. <laughs> Applebee's. <laughs> Applebee's yes, is yeah, Applebee's. Yeah, yeah. Olive Garden. Don't no, forget that's, the Olive that's Garden. That's a different page. Oh. That's a different page. Oh, Nate's over there <laughs> searching for pages. <laughs> yeah. So Paige just want to call and say she's available. Uh, keep her, if you want to turn another page, as they say. Okay, Paige. And you're from New Jersey. Yes, I am. Well, listen, we are headed that way right now. We've got a camera crew coming to your house. Let's go. (laughs) (laughs) All right, Paige. Thank you, Paige. Thanks for being available. And there you go, Paige. I like how you just cut her off as well. (laughs) (laughs) But look at look at all these phone lines ringing. They want to date you, Lewis. Oh well, there you go. It feels good to be. It feels good to be wanted. We have four phones ringing. Oh, wait, okay. oh, that's her. Yeah, that's her. That's, that's Paige. Paige. Okay, and that's, that's her new boyfriend. Oh, 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 no. oh wait, hold on. Thanks, Nate. Let me see. Let me see. Wait, 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 I want to see. I want to see. Oh, all right. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean oh, she's beautiful. Oh, he's hot. Oh, yeah. God, he, is. Really? he is hot, by the way. He is hot. I think he's not funny, though. And he looks like he's not funny. No, to, to be fair, I'd watch some of the show. He is quite funny as well. Oh, damn. And he's athletic. <laughs> but then, what's a good thing, though, is what I've realized is. It kind of gives girls this thing of like, if you date me for like a year, your next boyfriend could be this six foot tall Adonis of a man oh. and you could get famous. So this is what you can do. I can bring this to the table for you. I can, your future endeavours will be so much more plentiful because you've dated me. I mean, you, you, you have to date me for at least a year, which is tough. But Stop there's, it. There's, there's gold at the end of that rainbow. Trust me. You're like good luck, Chuck. Oh my God, you're so messed up. Thanks, <laughs> cheers. Okay, that's how we write the song, no, baby. You are, you are totally effed up. <laughs> what can I say? What can I say? But we love you. I love you guys. It's great to be out of the house. <laughs> The dog smoky house. Yeah, the dog smoky. That's really nice to be out of that house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a dungeon in there. <laughs> All right. Well, look. Thank you for coming. Uh, and enjoy your trip out to uh, Paige's house in New Jersey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Looking forward, Paige. We're coming for you, my love, <laughs> my sweet princess. <laughs> All right. Now, where, where he doesn't know where are we going to see Lewis next? Do we know where are you guys going? Who who will have you? Uh, we're going on tour next year. Okay. There'll be some more music. It's listen. Who cares? Um, <laughs> I'm I'm um, yeah, more music this year. Album next year. Tour oh. next year at some stage, but the details of which we aren't allowed to divulge on okay. the radio. <laughs> I never understood that thing, but okay. But I know. But that's Media. next year. What happens between now and next year? Uh, I'm going to Australia in November. I'm going to Chicago tonight. I'm going to LA. I'm going to Vegas. Mm-hmm. I'm going to LA again, then I go home, then we're practicing for tour, then I go to Australia, I said that already, yes. and then <laughs> December, I'm just, oh, back to US. we're coming back, oh no, nothing's happening in December. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Here, I never understand this, why, why can you not talk about what you're, this is a big thing with our friends, the artists that come in, yeah. it's like so much stuff going on, I can't tell you what it is, what, what, it's, oh, oh, Jingle Ball, absolutely. Now you realise that, oh no! Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did I, I'm not supposed to say that. <laughs> oh, no. I, didn't, I, didn't, well, I didn't say which one. Well, as long as it's you that said it and not me, I, I feel great. <laughs> but look, they're looking for reasons to fire me, and they just got <laughs> Oh, thank you, sweet Jesus. I'm, I'm worth more dead than alive. I'm telling you. Thank you. You just helped me a lot. Thanks, man. Cheers. All right, all right. We, lo- we love you, Louis. Thank you, man. Cheers, love guys. You, thank you for coming. Uh, thank Tom- you for coming. Thank you for having me. Louis Tomlinson cookies. Thank you to Louis Tomlinson. Louis. All right, thank you. Uh, and please <laughs> always support Louis Capaldi. No matter where you are, Forget Me is waiting for you, and more music is on the way. And maybe around holiday time, you may hear from him again. Yeah, who knows? All right. <laughs> Louis Capaldi, everyone. Love him. Yay! Yay! The Mercedes-Benz Interview Lounge.